What's up guys, in this video I'm talking about a YouTube trick to go back to the old grid layout. Now, I know this is different from my old typical videos which is about iPhones, but I figured I'd cover this right now. Plus, stay tuned after the video because I got a serious situation that I'm dealing with right now, but let's put that to the side. So as of today, August 15th, 2013, they changed it to where the new layout takes effect and you can no longer use the old grid style link that we've all been using. So in order to get this style, which is not the original but somewhat behaves just like it, you're going to need a plugin. This works for Firefox and Google Chrome. So I'm going to put in the video description a link to Stylish. Now once you have that added to your Firefox, it's going to tell you to restart. Once it's restarted, you want to go ahead and look at your add-ons, make sure it's installed. And from here, you're going to go ahead and click on Write New Style. Now the name could be anything, but for the tags, you're going to put in this tag right here, or this CSS code. I meant to say, you're going to copy and paste all this 77 line code, which I'll put in the video description as well. Once you have that, you want to click on save and you should be good to go. So now whenever you go to your YouTube description box, you should see this. Let's just go back to another page, what to watch or social. So go back to my subscriptions and you see there it still stays the same. So if you guys have any more questions, simply post a comment. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, which deals with more iPhones and tricks, then please subscribe. Now, um, for the past few days, I've been kind of absent lately, and that's because I went home recently. I'm still home right now. But um, a recent issue has come up to where I found out that my stuff was stolen from my own barracks room. So I'm still trying to find out who did it, where's my stuff, and so on. So uh, right now, the most valuable product I'm missing right now is my iPhone 4S which is the very thing I use for my videos. And while I slept, <clears throat> still have my iPhone 5. I still don't use it for, you know, tweaks because I like to keep it, you know, good and running. So I don't want to install every tweak that comes out. But I'm still trying to figure this out and hopefully I can go back to my, you know, iPhone City of Tweaks uh, videos that I've been doing for the past few months now. But this recent hiccup has caused me to put a hold on that and see where I can go from here. But I apologize for that, and I'm trying to do my best to fix it. So, thanks guys for understanding, and yeah, see ya.